What is up everybody? How's it going? So we're going to do a quick unboxing, kind of a, a quick information video, as well as we're going to go over some more of these um, Weller irons and a few other irons that I have. So please stick around, check out the video, and I'll see you guys there. Thank you for watching. What is up everybody? How's it going? Alright, before we get started, please like, comment, subscribe, smoosh the bell notification icon for future updates. Alright, so I got these two Weller irons here. Um, this one is a woodworking and hobby iron kit. This one is the medium duty 60 watt up to 925 degrees. This is the one that has the, uh, the Fano plug. Um, style system and you can char recharge this one with the the plug it comes with and then you could use it wirelessly um, and I do have a few other um, irons here let me uh, let me slide you guys over see if I can um, lift the cart a little bit because I believe I shoved one in here yep, right here all right so I just just I just grabbed a couple other I have a this orange cart is actually my electrical cart um, my dag diag cart and welding cart and everything like that let me turn this light back on so we're gonna unbox uh, these. Um, I actually got these for a deal. This one, a um, few years ago, I've been eyeballing these two for probably four or five years um, at Home Depot. This one, I remember a couple years ago, it was at like 39 bucks. Um, it, it, I got it. Uh, looks like they're, they put these on discount because it looks like that they're getting newer models of these. This one, um, right here, which is the wood burning and hobby kit. Um, this has the old style, just red handle. The newer kit um, actually has a cushion grip handle. Um, it's a little bit nicer. That model is um, eighteen or seventeen dollars and ninety four cents. This one used to be twenty dollars um, a couple years back, um, and about a month or so ago, today is. July 21st, it's a Wednesday, 2021. A uh, month or so ago, um, I saw that they dropped this like a dollar. Um, and then I saw it drop a few more dollars. Um, and today I picked it up for $14.06. Um, last time I saw it was a week or so ago, it was like 17 something dollars. The new model of this actually is $17.94. This used to be, I'm pretty sure it was about 20 bucks. Um, and it's gone down um, in the last two months pretty rapidly. Um, so I decided, I don't know if they're gonna drop it anymore. You know what, I'm just gonna grab it for the 14 bucks. I got it for $14.06 and then this one is usually $39 and I got it for $26.06 so I wasn't going to pass them up um, I actually um, I use soldering irons quite a bit I actually have a bunch of them right here there's one two three four five six seven eight nine right here I have a couple other ones as well I have full size units um, also so this one right here, the wood burning kit, is Whiskey Sam Bravo 25 Whiskey Bravo. And this one right here, um, the 600 watt up to 925 degrees medium duty, it is Whiskey Paul Sam 18 Mary Paul. Um, this one, it's a 15 piece wood burning kit, it's 25 watt up to 900 degrees. Um, woodworking and hobby iron kit. Possible applications, wood burning, hobbies, crafts, jewelry, cutting, molding, and branding. Shows on the side of the box. It's got a pattern transfer tip, shading tip, universal tip, groove tip, uh, calligraph, graphy tip, uh, and a stencil cutting tip. And then on this side, it has a hot knife tip, knife chuck, 
dot tip, branding tip, branding tip two, and a branding tip three. Um, so it's a nice little unit. This one right here um, is high performance soldering iron. This is a 60 watt compared to this one's a 25 watt, you know, 900 degrees compared to 925. Um, application, illumination, so it does have an LED up here. Uh, Co-molded soft grip handle design, comfort tip position and control. Um, and it's got a, a modular Fano plug, like a lot of, um, USB style, USB C style um, soldering irons. So we're going to pop this one open. Pull that guy out. We have our charging plug, information. Um, and this says Marka Weller Modelo uh, Whiskey Paul Sam 18 Mary Paul it says 120 vac 9 volt CC 18 watts. Um, this is made by Apex Tool Group, which um, also makes um, also makes. Uh, gear wrench and a few other companies um, as well pop that out so it's got the plug jack back here that you would charge the battery does not look like it has any um, any charge from what I can tell Make sure it charges. Hopefully it charges. Battery might be dead in it. We'll see. Um, this guy right here, I don't think there is any um, reason I need to... Oh, there is a little locking pin right here. So it is secured. I'm not gonna need this pin, so I'm just gonna cut it off. Okay, so I just cut the pin off. It's just like a, a little Christmas tree fastener. And uh, when things like this come in uh, cases, I normally always leave them in cases. Uh, this has got a little stand um, as well. Nice little stand. Got some different tips. These are all thread on style tips. So you do have to um, loosen the tip. These all look like uh, brass tips. So if you wanted to change the tip, you could just thread another tip on and you're good to go. Um, these are nice little units. Uh, but got a few projects um, that this would have been awesome on. I've uh, just never picked one up. Kind of did it the old school with a, with a Dremel. These are nice little units.
can also use um, precision uh, oh, I can't remember what they're called precision um, knife units with this as well because this is just a standard um, knife tip what do they call it on here a hot knife tip um, which you usually get in small little precision um, knife kits um, for you know doing uh, what's it called um, models you know model cars stuff like that um, they're nice nice little units um, they're not really hard to find tips and stuff like that for stays uh, pops closed more than likely I'll keep this box on it so that way I remember what the tips are in here um, it does not look like this unit is charging from what I can tell so this has been here a few minutes um, unit might might be dead might have to take this one back it's been sitting there a while um, doesn't look like it it didn't come with any extra tips or anything like that so there's the phono uh, the pho phono plug like there's any power Hi. but uh, I did want to bring up a few other items while um, these are sitting here so I do have this guy right here um, I was uh, put the cable uh, back together with the, the zip tie it came with or not the zip tie but the the twist tie it came with um, I've used this one a couple times. Uh, I've actually changed this tip out twice so far. That's why the tip is nice. This, pretty sure, is uh, the 90... I think it's the 40 watt. Not 90, 40 watt or 50 watt, something like that. Say Also from... Um, oh, the battery just died. Give me a second, guys. Let me grab another charger. That charger just died while I was charging this light. Um, this one is a nice unit. It does have tri lights, three lights on it. Um, works very well. I don't remember what model this is. If I can find the video, I will link it up here. I did do an unboxing and information video on this guy. Um, good good soldering iron um, I also have this guy right here which has a soldering iron tip um, that you can slide on it this is a butane torch uh, there you go this one has a neat feature it's got the butane style feature let me lock lock it on so if you push this button down or slide it forward, it turns into a regular flame. It's a nice little unit. It does have a, um, a little tip that slides on, a soldering tip slides onto this housing right here. Um, and you uh, screw the screw in to tighten it down and it turns into a portable soldering iron. This guy right here, I've gotten from um, Harbor Freight a long, long time ago. It definitely has seen tons and tons of use. Uh, my favorite thing to use this guy for, this is also a butane unit. Uh, my favorite thing to use this for is a, a hot blowgun. I uh, use this for shrink tubing a lot, uh, but I have soldered quite a bit with it. I've actually cleaned this to make it shiny um, just to keep clean all the slag and everything off of it or uh, solder 
know, depending on what world you're in. If you if you weld, you would call it slag. Um, if you solder, there's tons of other names for it. You can call it whatever you like. I call it slag. Slag is slag. Um, but that's a nice unit. Um, I also think about picking up this style unit from Benzomatic, which makes this torch. They also, in Home Depot, in this same section with all the soldering irons and everything, have this guy. Um, uh, my dad gave this to me a long time ago. It's called Cold Heat. Um, and this is a interesting little unit as well. This one actually takes uh, AA batteries, if I remember correctly. It's empty. I gotta take the screws out. But this is a little um, kind of like a hot knife unit. Um, it's also a soldering iron. It's got a very specific style ceramic soldering tip, um, which is why I don't use this guy very often. But um, it's a nice little unit. It does have extra tips in here. I have an extra tip. That's what the tips look like. Uh, that's a nice little unit. As well as I have the Milwaukee unit. Um, I've used this one quite a bit as well. I normally use it in the 90 degree where it's standing on its own. It's just on. You can see the tip is definitely well used. Um, as well as I have a couple older styles here this one is a chicago electric soldering iron 120 volt 60 hertz 30 watt um, this one has been used quite well works pretty good definitely worth the few bucks that they sell it for and this one is a jensen 3d720 it's very faded 20 volt AC, DC, um, this, the Jensen actually has a grounding plug. Uh, this one's definitely well used also. This one has a thread on style tip that's not easy to find anymore. Um, uh, still works, but I keep it more as a nostalgia thing. Don't use it normally, um, cause I have tons of other ones as well as I have the Ryobi 40 watt soldering uh, unit. These guys, I like. Um, this one I have not used yet, but these are very nice units. I have brought them all up to temperature, um, as well as I have the Ryobi solder station as well. Um, so if you guys have any questions about soldering, you know, let me know. If you guys would like to know some tips on soldering, um, let me know. I also have the Ryobi solder station. Um, same style tip. And I did show in a video you guys will see before this that um, these, both Ryobis take standard soldering tips. So <clears throat> um, you can actually take the one off the Milwaukee and it's just these standard tips right here that just slide on. Uh, so you can basically use most standard tips. So that's a plus as well. Uh, move all this back to the side. I uh, just wanted to show you guys there's lots of options out there. Um, I don't know if this is going to work. I might have to take this one back. Who knows? But... Um, It doesn't seem to be charging at all. It says 9 volt, 18 watts. Um, it's been plugged into this plug right here for probably the last 12 or so minutes. But, you know, lots of options. Um, figured I'd pick these up since I was eyeballing them and uh, they were on discount. You know, I have no idea if this one's going to charge. I would assume this light's supposed to turn on 
while it's plugged in. You can always test the plug. Might be polarity specific, I guess we'll see. No, it doesn't look like the plug is polarity specific because I unplugged it, flipped it around. So it might just might just be a dead unit, to be honest. You know, it happens. Some of these have probably been sitting on the shelf for a while. You know, it happens. Um, I can always go back, you know, ask to, to exchange it. But I do appreciate you guys stopping by. Um, you know, leave a comment if you'd like to see soldering tips, stuff like that. Let me know. Um, appreciate you guys stopping by. Please like, comment, subscribe. Smoosh the bell notification icon for future updates. Go check out my Amazon affiliate links, my Acme Tools affiliate links, my DJI Electronics affiliate links, as well as my Ohio Power Tools affiliate links. And I hope to see you guys on the next video. You guys have an awesome, awesome rest of your day. Peace!